You know, I'm inside trying to watch this Patriots and Bengals game. Because I have Rob Gronkowski and A.J. Green on my fantasy team. Uh, and I need 12 points out of those guys in the second half, too. Uh, but anyway. And you got this. You know, these people, they just come out of the woodwork. But it, now Georgia plays Missouri this coming up week. And you got this joker. The Missouri kid whatever, you know, I think it's just him, I, I, I don't know, Butch Cassidy, and, I don't know, anyway, but, this guy, Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou, please make a hate week video today, Uncle Lou, please, Uncle Lou, please make a hate week video for Missouri, I've been looking forward to it all week, hate week starts today, come on, Uncle Lou, please, and then, and then you make some, one of the most bootleg, draw my life videos I've ever seen, sir. Uh, you know, Missouri and Georgia uh, actually has the potential to turn into a pretty good rivalry here. Uh, of course, Georgia welcomed uh, Mizzou into the SEC, their first season in, with a whooping. Uh, everybody remembers that game uh, because it was uh, the entire SEC was rooting for Georgia in that game because Missouri had been flapping their gums that uh, the SEC uh, was uh, flag football, I think is what they called it. They, they said it was boring and... Uh, you know, and it just ran their mouth in general about SEC football, and that's where the whole hashtag grown man football came in and all that because we humiliated you uh, in your own stadium, which is not up to SEC standards, by the way. You guys need to – I don't know what you guys are doing there, but what, what do you hold, about fifty or 60,000? I mean, geez. It, it, it it's worse than Bobby Dodd Stadium in Atlanta. I, you guys need to do something with that stadium. There's high school stadiums in South Georgia that are better than what you guys have up there. But anyway, yet yeah, went into your own house and humiliated you in your first SEC game, 41 to 20. Uh, of course, last year you guys did beat us in Athens. Uh, two years ago when we beat you, we went on to win the East. Uh, and last year when you beat us, you went on to win the East. So the potential is here for a pretty good rivalry, unfortunately for you. I'm sure you've heard the saying that even the sun shines on a dog's rear end uh, every once in a while. Well, that was the case for Missouri last year. Uh, yep, but you better savor the flavor uh, because it's not happening again. Uh, you guys aren't beating Georgia. You're not winning the East either. Uh, that's a guarantee uh, and a promise, too. Uh, you can go ahead and write that down if you need to. Uh, but anyway, Missouri, let me explain something to you. Yeah, you beat us last year. Uh, of course, we had no Todd Gurley. Uh, we had no Keith Marshall. We were playing with our third and fourth string running backs. Uh, and yeah, you guys beat us. But uh, not happening this year. Uh, we're coming to Columbia in seven days, and we're bringing Todd Gurley with us. He's the best player in America, hands down. It's not even close. Uh and you know that 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 joker from Indiana ran all over you. Indiana. Okay? Uh from the Big 10. Now let, let me let me explain something here. The the Big 10 is the butt of every college football joke in America, okay? Everybody outside of the Big Ten makes fun of the Big Ten because they're a joke. Well, do you know who the people in the Big Ten make fun of? Indiana. Yeah. And you let Indiana come into your high school stadium and beat you. You embarrassed the entire SEC. What were you thinking? There's absolutely no excuse for that. None. None. 
You guys are going down. I, I got news. This game's gonna get ugly and out of hand, too. Uh, I... You you lost to Indiana, and then you got the nerve to come on here and talk smack to UGA? You people are going down. The, the, the Big Ten. You know, I, I don't really keep up with soccer that much, but the, in, in European soccer, which is the big time, big time soccer, like the I, I don't even the Champions League, whatever they call it. I, I don't keep up with soccer, so if I don't get some of these details right, what whatever, you can tell me I'm an idiot in the comments. But I, I don't know how, exactly how many teams they have, but they have different levels. Uh, they have different leagues there, and the way it works is if you're in the top every year, the top league of teams. Let's say there's ten teams in that top league. Okay. Well, every year, the bottom two teams, at the end of the year, get kicked out of that top league, and they go down into a lower league. And the two top teams from the lower league get promoted up into the, up into the higher league. When you bums lost to Indiana, you should have been demoted to a different conference immediately or sooner. That's just sad. How do you let a, the worst... We're talking about Indiana here. I mean, this is friggin' ridiculous. It, it, that, that's worse than South Carolina losing to Kentucky yesterday. You want to talk about these basketball schools? At least Kentucky can recruit SEC talent. I mean, for God's sake, at least people want to go to Kentucky because it's in the SEC. What high school football player wants to go to Indiana? I mean, for God's sakes. You ought to be embarrassed and ashamed of yourselves. Pathetic.